Hi, my name is Jared Brennan. Um, I've recently uh, qualified as a stonemason, a uh, stone carver in the uh, OPW National Monuments. Um, it's been an excellent program. Uh, I've learned so much about conservation and restoration uh, within uh, within our district. Um, and I had an excellent time also in training down in uh, Tralee uh, with Tom Little. So we've uh, got an excellent opportunity uh, to work on these plaques uh, for Oris and Uchtaran, uh, to commemorate uh, the Easter Rising. Um, I'm just going to go uh, give you a, a brief chat on how we how we went about uh, to make them. So first and foremost, we uh, we would have got the limestone slabs which we we cut and bullnosed to give that rounded shape on the edges of it. Uh, we would have polished it up to uh, maybe about 220. Uh, when we that done, we would have. Uh, wrote uh, the names down onto the onto the plaques um, and once we had the names uh, placed on the plaques uh, that's when we went about uh, carving them. Uh, the style that we used is uh, an Irish uh, half uncial style um, for the letters um, which I suppose is a is a uh, it's just a style that was used back in 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 around us the, the around 1916 and that, that era. So we would have used uh, these tools here, uh, lettering chisels, uh, just probably about six different sizes from uh, four mil, six mil, eight mil, 10 mil, up to 20 mil, which generally wouldn't be used in, in lettering. Um, this is a, a little uh, dummy mallet uh, that we used um, essentially to uh, to carve on the letters. I'll just give you a quick little uh, demo on how we how we do that. So essentially you're sitting the uh, chisel in and you're just hand carving the letter lightly tapping. And then just blow away the dust. Thanks again for uh, taking the time to, to watch the video and I hope you've uh, taken something from it. Um, thank you.